Thursday, attend the Cepeda Tapajanzo readings. Friday, go to Mexican American Studies, their open house celebración. Then, the Invisible Cities Project. I made it to the Mexican American Studies open house on Friday. I wasn't sure what to expect, but understood it was a celebration of sorts. Honestly, I was looking forward to attending something that had nothing to do with transformation. The atmosphere on campus has been dismal, dark. The predictions are that working people and people of color will be transformed into the unemployed. This is what history tells us about these transformations. The meeting was about transformation, but the discussion was approached in a way that was oh so familiar to me. When life challenges you, you sing. Have a gathering of people who support you, break bread together and recall better times, tougher times. It was a celebration of space, the present space and the right to inhabit it. Teach from it, learn from it, the historic fight for it. When Raquel stood up, she began in gratitude to the Tohono O'odham for the greater space in which we are all situated. I want to remember to include that in my evening rituals at home. I make a note. Thursday evening had found us in Ofelia Cepeda's audience. She too spoke of her gratitude for the land and recognized its displaced and also still here first peoples, her people, the Tohono O'odham. Again, I was reminded that I'm in someone else's home, a guest. On Friday, I made it to the Invisible City project I'm involved with, challenged by this revitalized consciousness resulting from Raquel and Ofelia's powerful reminders. This is for them then, the first draft of day two of the Invisible City project for Raquel and Ofelia. Circles of White Transformation. They tell me it's about what we don't know. A mystery about this place. So many layers of the past. I recall Ophelia's stories, Lucy's stories about the weavings of red, white, and blue into the blankets, contradictory meanings. She told of the comfort, conflict, and sorrow woven into the beauty and warmth in those blankets. We're all looking for a sense of belonging among the displaced and dispossessed, I wonder how will we achieve it? Disconnections, beyond binaries, neither them nor us, but we now, a third belonging, longings to be. We acknowledge class, but we see only foot races, collapsing differences, we are all the same, they say. They don't know why we're here. Invaders, it's art, art in the world, lost in space. We produce and reproduce our perceptions. They call us word people. I recall Ophelia's description of the Tohono O'odham language as a language much too civil for writing, one that is instead useful for pulling memory from the depths of this earth. The ballet of the downtown streets, we name it, empty, chaotic, racialized, under construction, scarcity, density, sensual knowledges, intoxications, old military fort. Wait! Before that, what? Que? Lack of transparency, patterns, periphery and interior, no vacancy, transportation, a space on the verge. I expand the list. Class segregation, convergences, homelessness, dislocated, dispossessed, gentrified, classed, vagrants, punks, art and wine connoisseurs, la gente, la raza, first peoples, lost, diners and nine-to-fivers, working poor, teenagers, double shifters, people in drag, pimps, street walkers, street cleaners, hairdressers, hotel and motel staff and patrons, undocumented workers, workers, bus drivers, drunks, smokers, artists, queers, a drag queen and her pink laced pup pass me on the street. He's alone, reading, drinks beer from a bottle and a chaser beneath the neon lights. I remember Joni. Graffiti on the planter, ha, huh? evidence of artists in residence. A bike with a leopard pouch. She slips between us, apologizes, and excuses herself, scurries by us, shrinks, 
I want to ask her. Stop. Stay. Talk. Tell me something. Circles of white, embodied, performed, present. I smell my grandmother, really my mother. Her scent pours out of the retro second-hand shop. I know this smell. I see her, touching the glass, licking the wrought iron clean. Locas y locuras. Native American girls pass me by. I read an announcement of the underground film festival and wonder if they'll submit something. I have my doubts. A man on his balcony looks down on us. I see him seeing us. I look at him and look away and wonder about his home that hangs over this space. Pause again at the re-memory of what should be my grandmother's scent but is my mother's rose water. Muted voices, reverberations, I'm in a fishbowl, swimming past those who live here, work here, are here. I notice her face, overstuffed bags, swollen ankles. I know she's worked today. I know her work day is not over. Not yet. When? The too young mama is explaining to her toddler what prison pants are. She's yelling so that I can hear her through my earplugs. Orange colored earplugs like prison suits, Errol Morris and the thin blue line, the El Paso County Jail and the crosswalkers in orange on their way to their arraignments. I know this conversation. I know this place. I know this scene. I see his mouth moving, talking to no one crazy. Que loco! A blue light flashes in his ear. Alien connections. There are the buses and the boys. I know this place. Chicano imagery, Tenochtitlan, glyphs on a wall, El Corazón Sagrado, the Sacred Heart, Maíz, Corn People, signs and symbols of Chicanidad, Latinidad, Indígenos, Nahuatl. I know this place. The Statue of Liberty, dead, dead face, El Día de los Muertos. The numbers on his chest remind me of the rain for rent tank and its numbers. I know where I am. What does it mean, the certified purveyors of the Miller High Life? She passes. Her daughter says, excuse me, for both of them. I want to excuse myself. She walks and texts. He smiles and shakes his head. He looks right through me, not entertained or amused, nor particularly annoyed, just tired. I remember the swollen angled woman on her way from work to work, unending cycles. We perform. When I work my words in the world, I say we're engaging the erosion of public space. Is that what we're doing? Circles of white swimming through eons and eons in front of the wig-o-rama. Wig-o-rama. We are wigged out. Locas y locuras. She didn't know we were supposed to wear white. Light blue. She's got on light blue. I look for someone I know in CTC, smiling. I'm okay. I wish for the violin again, but the headers still abound. Still, street music, rhythms, and sounds, familiar. He comes at us on his wheelchair, excuses himself. Of course he does. It's a ritual of these streets. A woman in black wearing two high, high heels on her way to dine. I hear her saying we must be some performance art in white. I refocus, look to see who's getting on and off the bus. I see people waiting, bodies slumped and tired against the bus stop walls. I see end of the day begin again freshly reapplied makeup. Working people, empty lunch boxes swing free. It's dark, golf links bus is empty. Time to head for home. Eve sits, watches, waits. What does she see? What if we'd been the audience and the bodies at the bus stop had performed? What would state security say and do then? Would they call it art? Would we? Circles of white circulate away.